the site in this work is a site near Kendall River, which is Mavis's traditional country close to Arakoon. And something that happens in her works is that she paints memories of these places. And so you can see these beautiful moments of swamps coming through, but the site of this work is actually generally a clay pan. And so the swamps are only in this area during the wet season, which is kind of around January to March, quite early in the year. And what we can see in a lot of her works is her representing a number of different seasons or a number of different moments within the same artwork. And so it's really about a shift in time, a shift in season and a shift in perspective. Something else that we can see in this work is that there are moments, especially when looking at the swamp, where there are these beautiful small birds and then these larger than life lily flowers. And so she really plays with that idea of scale and coming um, in and out of the swamps and in and out of seasons as well. In this amazing painting by Mavis Nellometa, we can see a fantastic use of her natural pigments in the work. And so these brilliant moments of orange are actually um, ant bed nest or termite mounds. And Mavis would go um, collecting pigments from across her country in and around Arakoon. The yellow clay that we can see in these works is sourced from a site called Yalgamonken. And through a process of preparation, the yellow clay is burnt and, and cooked and prepared. And eventually, once it's prepared, this beautiful red pigment is created using that same material. All of the black within the work is all charcoal that Mavis had prepared. And what's really exciting about Mavis's practice is that the underpainting of all of these large scale paintings of this beautiful, rich, deep blue, and through her application of all of these pigments on top of the painting, some of them are quite thick and we can see these mounds and you know, they're quite porous and you can see all of the, all of the pigment and then others um, such as some of these purple areas up, up the top here are created using really thin washes of a combination of the red clay and the white ochre. And so these beautiful um, moments of purple and pink are happening in the work. And it's completely genius because it's by painting and using these natural pigments over the top of a blue prepared canvas, an entire array and palette of colours are then opened up to Mavis in her work.